There's three extraordinary pitches in Wagner's Tristan und Isolde. In the uh, second act, when King Mark sings his monologue, the, the pitches are A down a minor seven to B, and then up a, um, a minor ninth um, to C. And so it, um, it's just a very powerful emotional moment because uh, King Mark has ordered Tristan to sail to Ireland to fetch his bride-to-be Isolde and of course unfortunately Tristan and Isolde fall in love. When King Mark finds out about this his monologue begins mir dies, dies. Um, he's, he's saying to me this, this, this betrayal you are giving me and so Wagner sets the, he wrote the words, he wrote the text, and he um, he sets it to this incredible dissonance, um, this emotional outpouring that's just wrenching, and 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 it, it, since it's sung, it's uh, the vowels are very distended, so um, uh, you can't, you know, like with all music. Uh, it's hard to understand the words because the consonants are so far apart. But it's especially true in this very, very, very slow aria of pain, and um, and and he sings mir dies, dies. and it's really even slower than that, and. And you know you can you can sense even without the orchestration, without the accompaniment, the pain of it all. Um, and you know it's such an unusual interval, a minor ninth upwards in music uh, of, of that time. And um, and it's just one of those tiny moments in Wagner that always just sort of hits me like a sledgehammer. And um, uh, and it, it actually was used by Mozart decades earlier in the C major viola quintet. It's called a viola quintet. It's a string quartet with an extra viola. And, and the second theme is is somewhat similar. It's um da -di da dum da -di da dum da -di -da -dum, da -di -da -dum. Um and that's also just totally unprecedented for the time and especially for Mozart. Um, he, Mozart rarely wrote anguished music and that's just a, a moment in late Mozart where it happened. Um, this is also in text similar to Puccini's Visi d'arte in Tosca where Tosca uh, sings Visi d'arte, visi d'amore, non feci mai male ad anima viva, which means I live for art, I live for love, and I never did harm to a single soul. And and she's saying, and this is how you repay me, God? And, um, it, you know, you just have to, you, ha you know, if you could only have one one hundredth of the joy I feel from this kind of music, uh, you would know that you have to not get through this life without experiencing these pieces, not just experiencing them, but, really getting them, spending enough time with it that it just speaks to you deeply. Um, that means repeating the hearings over and over again with the words, with the translations, so that so that you can allow it to communicate to you. Anyway, that's a little mini Wagner lesson. Um, it's the sort of thing that consumes my thought constantly that I never talk about, but I decided since I'm taking a driving trip today just to stop at a roadside place and um, and share this. Bye.